Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from ControlPaint.com. Today we're going to take a look at some hidden features of the brush tool. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint store. You are going to want to change the diameter of your brush a lot while you're painting. And an easy way to do that is to hold down Alt, and then right click, and then move left or right. So if I move to the right, you'll see a red circle get bigger. And if I move to the left, you'll see it get smaller. As soon as you let go, that is your new brush size. So anytime you see a temporary red circle pop up on screen, that means I'm changing my diameter using Alt and right click. Now at the same time, you can hold down Alt and move up to soften your brush or down to make it hard again. So this can be nice if you want to do some careful edge control, and maybe you want to soften up your edge here, but leave your diameter the same. You can do that without changing your brush. Now this only works on circle brushes. It does not work on custom brushes. But since the circle brush is something that I use a lot of the time anyway, this is pretty handy. Now if you don't like the ability to change the brush hardness, you can use that same setting to change the brush opacity. And you can find that in the preferences. Down here, there is an option that says very round brush hardness based on HUD vertical movement. Well, what that means is if it's checked, it does brush hardness. And if it's not checked, it does brush opacity. So here I'll do the exact same keyboard shortcut. And you can see it's getting more intense red or lighter pink, and lighter pink just means it's low opacity. Now, personally, I don't paint much with opacity. I prefer to use brush flow, so I almost never have this option turned on. And I much prefer using brush hardness with this keyboard shortcut. It does take a little while to remember this one, but Alt is pretty easy to reach, and I like to have right click set to one of my stylus buttons anyway, so really it's pretty convenient. But either way, this is another one of those awesome opportunities to hide the menus, get rid of the interface, and just paint. So give it a try, and you might want to work this into your own process. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.